In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and cover Illustrator Classroom in a Book Chapter 8, which is all about adding type to a poster and creating this food truck corral poster. So what you need to do is go ahead and find the start file, L8 start, and let's do a file, save as, and let's call it L8 and food truck. Dot AI and save it in your folder. All right, one of the first things we're going to do is work on adding a whole bunch of type to this uh, folder for us. So one of the first things we're going to do is make sure we're on this poster one. So I'm going to come down here to my artboards, make sure I'm on poster one. I'm going to go to view, fit artboard and window so I can see the whole artboard. Next thing we're going to do is grab our type tool and over in our uh, just our pasteboard area. We're going to go ahead and type. We're just going to click. We're not going to type. We're just going to write the pi o pi. And let me zoom in so you can actually see what I'm doing. And let's capitalize it. Pi o pi. We want to go ahead and use a bullet there. So we want to go to type, insert special character. And we want to go ahead and do a symbol, special character symbol, and we want to do a bullet. I'm going to do a space, and let's do one, two, three cheese. Let's go to type, insert special character symbol, grab another bullet, do another space, and go plus many more. All right, so you'll see that in um, Illustrator, it let us just click. We didn't have to create a frame in order to start typing, and that lorem ipsum came up before we started. All right, let's go ahead and grab our selection tool. With our selection tool, we can borrow, we can grab this bounding box, and you can see that, like Photoshop, we can re resize and rechange um, the size of that font without having to go in and play with the properties. But now you'll notice right now it's 54.33, which is kind of a weird um, number, which we don't necessarily want. We're going to go ahead and do a control minus and undo what we just did. So let's go ahead and scroll over to our pasteboard a little bit. I'm going to do a control minus, zoom out. We will come back to our pie. Uh, come down here, grab our poster one, view, fit artboard and window. All right, the first thing we're going to do is going to start typing down in this area. So let's do a control plus so we can kind of zoom in a little bit. Hit my space bar with my hand. I can zoom in. I'm going to go ahead and grab my type tool. And I want to go ahead and type a, a create a text box. Now in this text box, you'll see it automatically fills it with dummy text for us. We don't necessarily want that. We want to go ahead and put Saturday, Sunday, Saturday slash Sunday, 2 p.m. Highland Park. And note how it will wrap horizontally. So if I tr grab this, if I change the size of my box, it's going to actually change with the size of my box, which is pretty awesome. We want to go ahead and play with some auto sizing. If we go ahead and double click right here, it will auto size that box to fit what we need. So we see that widget. So let's go ahead grab our type tool and go in right after park and let's type in, now let's go ahead and click and make it smaller first so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to grab my type tool, zoom in a little bit closer, Take, come in right after, let's type Raleigh, North Carolina. And notice how we have the auto sizing turned on so the box automatically got bigger, which is something that would not necessarily happen, say, in an InDesign, which is pretty cool. So we want it to automatically do that. We actually don't need Raleigh, South uh, North Carolina, so we're going to go ahead and delete that part. So we want to convert between area type and point type. So we can want to think about how these areas are different. with area type, we are actually filling the sp uh, space that the area is in. Point type means we're going to determine how big the type is based on point size. So let's go ahead and grab our selection tool and we're going to hit Alt and we're going to drag and make a copy of 
the Highland Park we just made and drag it over here. And let's do it, make it a little bit smaller. So Alt and drag, and drag it over here. So now we have a copy. And let's go ahead and move our cursor over to our new one here. And let's double click and do a Control A. And actually, let's be on this one over here. I lied. Come on. All right, so let's double click. If we triple click, we'll select everything in there. So let's go ahead and do August. And then 19th slash 20th. All right, why am I still seeing an extra? Nope, I'm not, okay. All right, I've got August 19th slash 20th. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter a soft return. So I'm gonna take my cursor in between the August and the 19th, 20th, I'm gonna hit Shift Enter and that'll put in what's called a soft return and I'll do a delete so I don't get that extra space right there. All right, then I wanna go ahead and press Escape to get out of my selection tool. So Escape or we can click out here on the, on the board. And we want to go ahead and with our selection tool, we want to select here. We want to move out over towards this pointer right here. And you're noticing right now that because the type is filled in, this is telling us it's area type right now. So it will act, it will go ahead and change based on the size of the box. If we double click it, it will convert it to point type, which means now we're going to take care of it and resize it as you would in say a Photoshop situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift and drag and make it pretty big so it fits here. And let's do it control S and say what we've got so far. So now I've got some to play with. So let's go ahead and pop over to our poster two. So I'm gonna go here to poster two. I'm gonna go to view fit artboard and window so I can see which one I'm on. And we're going to go ahead and import some type. So in order to do that, we want to go ahead and do a file place. Let's make sure our smart guides are on. So let's go to view, smart guides, make sure they're turned on for us. Let's go to file and place and go find this L8 text and place. And it's going to tell us what do you want to put in and we're going to say OK. And we're going to get that loaded cursor. It should be when we get up here to the guide. You see how we've got that guide. When we see the word guide, kind of gives us that little clue. And let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. Kind of just right above here. And click. And double click. There we go. And you should get your uh, place, your text to come into that placement. Now you're going to notice if you click on the box now, a lot of times you might end up with that red plus. So just like in InDesign it's showing that we have over, overflow text. So it means we need to go ahead and wrap it and put it in another, uh, we need to thread it to another box as well. So I'm going to do a control minus and let's go ahead and with our selection tool. Just like we do in InDesign, hit that out port. We're going to get that loaded cursor and go ahead and draw another box to thread that text into. Now I've got my view and show text threads on so that's what's making it so I can actually see that these are connected. So view show text threads is in here somewhere. All right, so right here, mine says hide. So right now they're showing, so it shows that I've got these connected together just like you would in an InDesign document. So just as you would in InDesign, as you change the size of one box, it's going to change the flow into another, which is what we wanted to do. All right, let's do control S and save what we've got so far. Now the book's going to go into a whole bunch of information about going to Typekit. Typekit does not exist in 2019. Uh, now if you go to Typekit, if you go into your fonts, you now get a Find More option. Um, if, another way to do it is to go in and uh, you can find, 
more if you go through your Adobe Creative Cloud. If you open up your Adobe Creative Cloud program, it will let you go in and look at what kind of fonts you have. And you're going to need a couple different fonts for this uh, poster. One is called Roboto and one is called Colts. I'm still waiting. Here we go. For my... You don't want all that. So I'm going to go here into my Adobe Creative Cloud. I'm going to go to Browse All Fonts. It's going to pop open the Adobe website. You're going to have to be signed in to get this. And you want to go ahead and look for Colt. And activate all fonts. And you want to go into Roboto. and make sure you activate all those fonts as well. Now you'll we'll have what you need in order to do this lesson. So where it's talking about Typekit in the book, you kind of need to skip that part because Adobe has gone ahead and changed that, of course, just to make your life a little more difficult. All right, so what do we want to do next? Next thing we want to do is come into our Type tool. And let's go to our first poster over here, this August 19th, grab our text tool. And if you triple click, you should get everything. Or you can do a control A and it'll select everything in there. And let's go ahead and go to our character. And go ahead and write C-O-L. And you should find those cult options. And let's go ahead and choose, which one do we want? Um, let's go ahead and just choose Colt Bold. All right, so it's a little bit big right now, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and play with that in a little bit. So if you look at, when you look at your fonts, you've got all kinds of options. You can filter by what kind of style they are. You can file by, filter by activated fonts, so which fonts you have activated from the um, Adobe Cloud. You can look at which ones you've added just recently. Uh, you can look at your favorite ones. So there's quite a few different ways. With Find More, you can always go through and find different ways of finding extra fonts as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to click away from my contact. And let's go ahead and change the font size. So let's go ahead and look at this area right here, the Saturday Sunday. Let me just do a control plus, zoom in. Go ahead and select this Saturday Sunday. So I'm going to take this Saturday Sunday and let's go ahead and go to the panel. And let's go ahead and make it size 36. which is relatively large. And what else can we do with it? Let's go ahead and play with, let's make it Colt Bold as well. So I'm going to do my Colt Bold. Now I want you to notice something. If you, because we have this set as area type, if we take and adjust this column, look how it automatically we'll move those letters side by side and turn it up right upside down and, uh, rather than right side up, which is kind of cool. We don't need it that way in this case, but we're just going to leave it there for now. All right, let's go ahead and come over to our August and our August 19th, 20th. And let's drag across 19th, 20th to select those. And let's go ahead and make it size 20 instead. So right now it's like 49.59. Let's go ahead and make it 20. So I can double click in there. 20. And make it the same. Now I can grab my selection tool. Kind of hold my shift. And make it big enough to go there. So now I can go ahead and take a look at, I'm going to hit a control S and save what I've got so far. Let's go ahead and grab the selection tool this Saturday, Sunday, and kind of drag it down so we've got it 
So it's kind of sitting over top of the mark there. So let's go ahead and make it a color. Let's grab our type tool. Let's go ahead and or your selection tool even. You can grab, you can see your fill right now is set to black. If I click on it, let's go ahead and choose that pink color. And go ahead and choose the same here without having to select all the different letters. So now I've got those letters as pink. Now depending on how you're going to use this later on, you can always just decide to make it another color later. So let's do a control S and save what we've got so far. So what else can we do? Let's go ahead and play with the letting. The letting is the space between the letters so that we've got a little bit more space here in this one. So let's grab our selection tool and grab this Saturday Sunday object. Let's go to our properties panel, go to letting, which is this one right here. And right now it's set to 43. Let's go ahead, triple click, and make it 63 and set. And see, notice how it makes that line, the space in between those lines a little bit more. And I can use my arrows to nudge that and kind of split the difference a little bit. Make it look a little bit cleaner. I can scoot it over a little bit with my arrows as well. All right, hit a control S and save what I've got so far. Let's get the type tool, grab the PM here, and look at our properties. For character, if you hit the more properties right here, you're going to get some more options. If you look at the very bottom, you've got some additional options. You've got all caps, you've got small caps. We want a superscript, so we want to make that small. So the PM is going to be tiny and raised up a little bit. So what else are we going to do? Let's click the selection tool. Let's grab the one that's got this August 19th, 20. And let's double click it. And let's copy it. So let's edit copy. And then edit. We want paste. And now we've got a copy. Let's do a zoom out minus. Let's grab that copy and move it up here to kind of up over here. You can do control plus, zoom back in. I'm going to double click. I'm going to get rid of this 19th, 20th section. And instead of August, I'm going to put the word corral. And somehow I've got an extra frame in here. So let's get rid of this extra frame. There it is. Delete. All right, so I've got the word corral, which if we look at our end one, is part of this corral we're going to play with right here. All right, so one of the one next things we're going to do is we want to go to uh, make sure we've got our selection tool. We've got our type tool now. And let's do a save. And it's switching us back over to poster number two. So let's go to our poster number two and format some of this text. So let's grab our text tool. Go ahead and click in here and do control A, command A, and it will select all of that text for us. Let's go ahead and look at our properties over here in paragraph. Let's grab the more. And we want to go ahead and say align right right here. So it's the second to last one. So now we've moved all that over. And let's go ahead and change it a little bit more so that we change the space after. So right now we don't have a big uh, differentiation between our paragraphs. Let's go our change our space after to be six points. So now we've got that automatic built in. And let's go ahead and hit escape to hide that paragraph. Let's go ahead and make it 18 points from our menu up here. And that, that looks pretty good so far. Let's go ahead and do select our control uh, S and save what we've got so far. All right, so now let's play with touch type. So let's go ahead and go back over to Corral and play with those letters just a little bit. So we see that they're going to end up up here between those letters. So let's go ahead and grab it and move it up over into there, between there. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is grab our touch type tool. So if we look at our tool, our type here, before we do it, let's go ahead and with our selection, make corral fit this area just a little bit better. You can hold shift. 
You can kind of use those, these handles right here to line up and get with those bullets. Make sure you get it centered pretty well. All right, so corral is where I want it. So the next thing we want to do, if you'll notice, is we need to tip that R. So in order to do that, we need to play with what's called the touch type tool. So let's go ahead and grab our touch type tool, which if you go to type and hold, it's the very bottom one at the bottom here. And we want to make sure we're on our layers. We want to make sure that we've got our layer called background is showing. So you can kind of see what's going on. So you can see that uh, piece that we need to connect it to. And if you don't have layers, go to Windows Layers and grab it. So let's grab our selection tool. And let's make sure we've got our point size the way we want it. So let's click on there. We want it to be at least 118. So if you're stretching, we can make it a little bit bigger. 118. Enter. All right, so grab it. Line it up a little bit more. Use those arrows. Nudge it over. All right, let's grab our touch type tool. Now what we're going to do is grab that first capital R. And notice how we're going to get a bounding box just around that first capital R. So we're actually going to be able to play with just that one letter, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to drag it so it gets a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and drag until our scale turns into about 105, so vertical scale about 105. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And the next thing we want to do is we want to rotate it a little bit. So let's go ahead and go over the edge a little bit like you normally do. And let's tip it until we've got about minus 17 or so. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my arrow keys and nudge it. So it kind of looks like it's being lassoed by the brown uh, line here, this brown stroke. So it's kind of got a connection to it. Alright, so that looks cool, except now we've got a problem that we've created way too much space in between the rest of this letter. So let's go ahead and grab the second letter R with our touch type tool. And we, what we can do is just drag it or nudge it with our arrow keys and mo notice how it brings all of it back in uh, with us. So let's do a control S and save what we've got so far. All right, let's do a view fit all in window in case you can't see all of it. So now we can see that we've got, where did my August go? Somehow I lost my August. Do we not copy it at one point? All right, well, let's just double, we'll redo it. Let's alt and type to or selection, alt, August. What was it 19th slash 20th and we change this into area type point type move that up to 60 or so take this down to 36 and maybe even tighter let's go 18. So not perfect, but good enough for what we're trying to do right this second. So if I also look, I can see my space in between is set at 63, which is huge. It's part of the reason I'm having some problems there. All right, so now I need to go ahead and borrow part of this August over to my other poster. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my selection tool, hit my alt and drag it over. And we're going to slide it up over here. And I'm going to grab my, I didn't copy it again, so click Alt, there we go. Hit my Saturday, Sunday, hit Alt, grab those, drag those over as well, and move those over. So if I look at my type on, on my poster too, I'm going to hide my layers, it's kind of ugly right now, but I can make it, I can make it better. Let's grab our selection tool, let's go to area, or type. Let's go to area type options. 
And here, just like you would do a text frame options, we want to change it into two columns. So you hit your preview so you can see what's going on. And hit OK. So it's changing those two columns. And you can kind of play with your information that way. Let's drag it so it kind of over overlaps our truck just a tiny bit. So now we want to go ahead and we've got some issues here. It's kind of a little bit messy. Uh, drag this down. It's covering up my Saturday Sunday. Well, we're going to fix that a little bit. Let me move the top off the wheels. Do a control S and save what I've got so far. So let's go ahead and click the type on this bottom one. We've got it kind of aligned with the rear of the truck here. Maybe we'll move it in a little bit more. All right, but now I still have a problem, so I need to go ahead and change the way this text box is. So I'm going to grab my direct selection tool. I'm going to hit this bottom corner right here, and I can take and drag it over. If you hold shift, you'll make sure you stay straight. Let go of your mouse, let go of your other, and you can see that now you've got a shape of your text box. We also have a weird little widow going on here, so you could change, uh, change back to your selection tool and change the size of this box just a little bit. So you've got some, and you will get overset text, that's okay, we're not worried about that in this case because it's just dummy text. Alright, let's do a control S and save what we've got so far there. Alright, so let's go ahead and we've got our corral, we've got some other stuff going on. Now you remember at the very beginning we created this um, style, or we created this pie oh pie so let's go ahead and create some text styles. Let's go ahead to our window and type and paragraph styles. So we want to go ahead and create a type style from this. Instead of Myriad, let's go ahead and do a control S and, or not control S, let's do control A. Let's go with our type tool, do a control A in here, and let's change it to Roboto. And let's change it to a Roboto, uh, let's do medium. All right, so now we're creating a text style there. Let's go to Window, come down here to Type, come here to Paragraph Styles. We want to create a new paragraph style, so we hit the paragraph here at the bottom. You're going to get a new one, double click it, we can name it and let's go ahead and call it body and it's going to decide to use whatever font or whatever format you've got set right there as your paragraph so let's say OK let's do a control A select all and make sure body is applied to everything alright so now with our selection tool let's go ahead and go to this pi o oh pi over on our other side and let's select it and change it to that body so we now have that pi o oh pi and we can go ahead and change that font size over to 24 make it a little bit bigger and we should get a kind of a funky pink going on let's go ahead and drag it down here and drag it so it moves over and instead of black let's go ahead and make it that pink color as well Alright, so what else can we do? Let's do a control S and save what we've got so far. Alright, so now let's decide we want to change that paragraph style. Let's go ahead and play with uh, what we've got. Let's double click this one we've got called body. Out kind of out here on the side. And let's go to indents and spacing. And on indents and spacing, let's change it to, instead of alignment, right, justify, let's change it to left and OK. And let's notice, if you look at this other section where we had it, instead of it now being right justified, we've now moved it to the left. So just like any other style, works pretty easily. Just do a control, control S to save what we've got so far. I don't like where that is. Let's drag it down a little bit more. All right. So let's go ahead and create another style. Let's go ahead and zoom in, scoot over, let's look at this food truck rodeo. Let's grab our type tool, let's highlight food truck rodeo. And instead of black, let's go ahead and make it that brown color. 
and if you want to we can make it uh, italic as well. Let's call it italic. So then if we look at our character styles which is right behind paragraph we can hit the new double click it and let's call it event name okay so now let's come down here to food truck rodeo and apply event name and over here to food truck rodeo and apply the event name so you always want to work with styles because it makes your life a whole lot easier and let's do a control s to save that one all right so we can decide later on we don't like well, we don't want brown anymore. The brown's too obnoxious. Let's double click it. Double click out here. And general should give some information. Basic char character formats. We want character color. So instead of brown, let's go ahead and make it black. And say OK. So now it kept the italics, but it did change it to black for us. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we can do as far as sampling goes. We can actually sample a type of text for us. So let's go back here to our poster one and grab our eyedropper over here in our toolbar. And let's grab our type tool. And let's click in this blank area right above corral right here. So we've got some lorem ipsum going on and let's click three times to select it so if it's not already selected let's grab the eyedropper and click corral and notice how it automatically applies that style from corral over to that what we had already selected so it's way 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 too big let's go ahead and make it size 55 instead enter and we're gonna go ahead and type the words food truck rodeo okay so I can grab my selection tool slide that over a little bit but if you look at our end one we're gonna play with that a little bit more so I'm gonna do a control s and save what I've got so far 